All right, let's just get right into it. The Sixers look like they're back. As of right now, they're on an eight-game win streak, leading them to have a record of 20-12, and 12, which has them as the fourth seed in the East. In this eight-game win streak, they've had impressive wins against teams like the Clippers, the Kings, and the Knicks. In this eight-game win streak, Joel Embiid and James Harden have been playing amazing. In this eight-game stretch, Joel Embiid is averaging 35.6 points per game, 10 rebounds per game, 3.5 assists per game, 1.1 steals per game, 1.3 blocks per game. While shooting 55.7% from the field, 52.4% from deep on 2.6 attempts per game, and 87% from the line. James Harden has been averaging 21.6 points per game, 5.8 rebounds per game, 12.8 assists per game, 1.8 steals per game. While shooting 45% from the field, 41% from deep on 7.6 attempts per game, and 80% from the line. In the past two games, Harden has 34 assists to only 4 turnovers, which is insane considering how much he has the ball. And that he's the main playmaker for the Sixers. Harden and Embiid have been playing as one of the best duos in the league. Both have been very efficient. The Harden and Embiid pick and roll is almost impossible to guard. With Harden being the good shot creator and playmaker he is, and how dominant Joel is in the paint, and his ability to put the ball on the floor and create his own shot or set a pick and pop out to the three-point line. They're playing at the best level since Harden has been with the Sixers. They are carrying the Sixers to a top five offense in this eight-game stretch, and it doesn't look like their offense production won't decrease too much anytime soon. Tobias Harris has been solid in this eight-game win streak. During the stretch, he's been averaging 16 points per game, six rebounds per game, three assists per game, 0.9 steals per game, while shooting 55% from the field. 37.5% from deep on 5.7 attempts per game and 100% from the line. He has been a solid third option, benefiting off all the easy looks that Embiid and Harden create for him. Hitting his catch and shoot shots from deep, he's capable of creating his own shot off the dribble if he has to. And he's been solid defensively, being a decent point of attack defender, which I don't think he gets a lot of credit for. He's able to guard both small forwards and power forwards, and he can provide some rim protection. De'Anthony Melton has been great off the bench in this win streak. In this stretch, he's been averaging 15.7 points per game. 5.6 rebounds per game, 2.7 assists per game, 2.3 steals per game. While shooting 48.1% from the field, 46.6% from deep on 8 attempts per game, and 83% from the line. He has been one of the best 6 mans in the league, not just during this win streak, but throughout the entire season so far. He just has been consistently good, you know what you're getting out of him. You're getting 12-16 to 16 points while he shoots good from deep, he's been a solid rebounder, which not enough people talk about. And once he gets to rebound, he's great at pushing the pace, while defensively, he's a good point of attack defender. Shake Milton has been good off the bench in this win streak. During this win streak, he's been averaging 9.5 points per game, 2.9 rebounds per game, 2.6 assists per game. While shooting 47.5% from the field, 35% from deep on 2.1 attempts per game, and 80% from the line. Now, these aren't the most crazy numbers, but he is giving the Sixers solid production off the bench. He's not a role player that's relying on Harden or Embiid creating an open look for him. He can create his own shot off the dribble. George Niang has been amazing from deep. In this 8-game win streak, he's been averaging 9.9 .9 points per game, while shooting 40% from deep on 6.4 attempts per game. Giving the Sixers a guy at power forward that can space the floor next to Embiid and someone that can run pick and pops with Harden. The Sixers have been playing so good these past 8 games, and Tyrese Maxey hasn't even come back yet from his injury. The Sixers have been doing all this while missing a guy that was giving them 22.9 points per game while shooting 46.2% from the field and 42.2% from deep on 6.8 attempts per game. The Sixers are back and looking like contenders again and looking like the team I predicted to finish as a one seed in the East at the start of the season. I appreciate you watching the video. If you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, I would appreciate it. I'll see you on the next video. More content on the way.